Belgian Audi Club Team WRT proved too hot to handle at Brands Hatch, securing both race victories at the second Blanc Pan GT Series Sprint Cup round of the season. On a weekend of glorious sunshine at the Kent venue, the Bador based squad completed a clean sweep that began with two pole positions on Saturday and ended with a brace of wins on Sunday afternoon. The victories were shared between the there was close racing to be enjoyed throughout Sunday's proceedings, but one thing remained constant, the WRT squad were in control at the front, race 1, Fanthor and Stevens combined to put WRT on top the opening contest saw the But, after Vanthor had handed over to Will Stevens, the Kelvin van Derland had assumed the controls of the it was an impressive display of defensive driving from the British ace, who resisted for half an hour of fierce racing to seal victory on home turf. The lead battle eventually grew to include Christopher Mize, who had taken over the... There was late drama, with Van Der Erland picking up a puncture and beginning to struggle during the closing minutes. Sensing an opportunity, Mize soon spotted a gap and went past the South African driver into turn one, with Marcello also muscling his way through. Mize therefore followed Stevens home for a WRT 1-2, with Marcello preventing an Audi sweep in third. Van der Linde tumbled down the order to P8 on the closing lap, with the puncture leaving the attempt of racer struggling to even make the checkered flag. Fourth went to the He handed over to Jack Manchester, who continued the good work by running competitively. But an error from the local driver ended with the Mercedes AMG machine in the gravel, allowing the However the car was later disqualified for ignoring a black and orange flag, handing Team Parker racing a class win on home turf with their Bentley Continental GT3. In Pram, the the Ferrari was comfortable in the hands of both drivers, with Baram Hakti taking the start before handing over to his Dutch teammate in the lead. Race 2, Leonard and Vervish complete WRT sweep The second race followed a similar pattern to the first, with Belgian Audi Club team WRT once again securing a 1-2 finish. This time it was the And behind them the It remained that way throughout the first stint, with Van Der Linde dropping back from the leading duo but not coming under major pressure from the pursuing Occa Mercedes of Marcello. Mize was the first of the leaders to stop, handing over to Ribera's, and Vervish was soon replaced in the The once again the two leaders were nose to tail, with the But like his fellow countryman Stevens, Leonard was cool under pressure in the brand's hatch heat and kept Ribera's at bay. The British ace even managed to eke out a narrow advantage by the closing stages to secure a first Blanc Pan GT Series win of the season for both of the Thorst was untroubled on his way to P3, securing a second podium of the season for the impressive Atempo Audi squad. Behind him Meadows kept the, the German driver and teammate Merkel Bortolidi swept the brand's hatch weekend last year, but had to be content with P5 in today's second race. Following their race one win, the this handed the In Pram, Marcus Winklick drove a superb first stint to run in P6, carrying Bordelotti's Lamborghini before handing his The French teenager held firm to secure his first class triumph in the Blanc Pan GT Series, despite late pressure from race 1 winner Baram Hackley Driver quotes Will Stevens
Penske were very strong on the Indy section of the circuit, then struggling more with the car around the rest of the track. I knew we would pull away a little bit and then they would catch us again, so the most important thing was to not make any mistakes. We had a great pit stop, one of our best, to be honest, and we are very happy with the result, Stuart Leonard. LMS, it was pretty exciting exiting pit lane with Alex right behind me. I didn't get the best line into turn 1, so I had to defend into turn 2. Alex was very close during my stint but I managed to keep a consistent gap. It's amazing to win on home soil. This is actually my first pro win in Britain, so that's pretty cool. Carlo Van Dam. Our car doesn't really like these bumpy old tracks, even if I do. But we managed to find some pace in the race and Pity built a comfortable lead, which I extended. Picked up the points, so it's job done, Marcus Winkelik. It's almost impossible to pass here and I didn't want to take a big risk, so I stayed behind. All in all, not too bad. The Blanc Pan GT Series will remain on British soil for its next event, with the second round of the Endurance Cup taking place at Silverstone in two weeks' time, 18 to 20 May. The three-hour contest will see the Belgian Audi Club team WRT crew looking to continue a rich vein of form that now stretches to three successive race wins.